While everyone waits for the latest video generator, I just generated cinematic quality videos in 3 minutes with only 16 GB of VRAM. Most creators don't know that one 2.2 makes 90% of expensive video tools obsolete. But there's a secret that the community isn't sharing. The problem is that the correct setup requires knowing exactly which files to use and how to configure the nodes. One mistake and you lose hours of rendering. What if I told you that you can have all this working in the next 10 minutes? While your competitors continue waiting in queues, you'll already be generating content that will make them wonder how you achieved it. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to install one 2.2 as distilled models on low-end graphics cards from 8 GB. Well, let's get started. First, we go to the Hugging Face page for a version of these distilled GGUF models from image to video of WAN 2.2. These are models that are already compressed for different VRAMs. For example, if you have a low VRAM of 8GB, the equivalence is to use these that we see on screen, which are the Q2 or Q3, which are of a size that doesn't exceed 8GB. This is the equivalent to know which model to download. If one has a card with 8GB of VRAM, then the model that would work is these Q2 or Q3 and up to Q4. If you want to use the Q5, you can do it, but you might have some problems at the time running this model. So, in this case, I have a 16GB card, so I'm going to download this Q8, which are 15GB in size. We need to download these two files, one that is the high noise and the low noise. And these models would go in the Confi UI folder inside models and here inside this folder called unit. So we simply cut and paste them. Okay, here we already have these files as you can see, ending as GGUF format. The other file that we need to download is this called LightX2B. Well, these LightX2B files are the LORES. They are the ones that control the video generation. And in this case, I'm going to download this file, which is for 480 resolution. So I'm going to download it in the LORES folder. Here we put it here and paste it. Okay, so this file isn't too heavy. Let's go back here. The other file we need is the text encoder, which is the VAE, here on this Confi UI anonymous GitHub page. They have all the requirements. I'm also going to put this page link in the description of this video. So we download this text encoder file. As we can see, it's six gigabytes. Let's go back here and put it in models, text encoders, and it's this FP16 file. And now we need to download this WAN 2.2 VAE file, which is also a controller, and we put this in the VAE folder. So we go back here in the VAE folder and paste it here. Let's download the 2.2 and the 2.1 and paste it here. And that would be everything. The only thing we're missing is the workflow to load all the nodes and the entire composition of our Comfy UI to be able to run it. Well, so here we've already downloaded all the files and now what we're going to do is open Comfy UI. In this case, I'm going to open it from Pinocchio. I have a video where I show how to install Pinocchio and how to install applications with Pinocchio. You can also click here to see more. And here, I already have the Comfy UI program installed, so what we're going to do is open Comfy UI. Here inside Comfy UI, the first thing I'll do is open the manager or administrator. So we click on update all. And to make sure that all the custom nodes are updated, we simply click on restart and confirm. So we let the browser reload again. So once everything is updated, we click here on open. And then we take the workflow file that we downloaded and simply drag it and drop it inside. 
Here, as always, I'm going to leave all the links in the description for easier access to all the necessary files you'll need for this workflow. After installation, I encountered another error related to FP16 accumulation and diagnosed the problem with the PyTorch version. Let's use so help from a chatbot and see if we can fix it. In this case, I'm going to use Mistral, but you can use anyone you prefer. I'm going to copy and paste the error that appears in Comfy UI, and here it gives me the suggestion of how to fix it. Well, so now that we have this GGUF model working, we're going to make a video using this image of this wolf. And we're going to change the prompt here to create a cinematic handheld shot of dark clouds with some thunder, featuring a wolf standing on a cliff with a countryside background and a slightly blurry forest in the background. And here we leave all the settings as we have them now and simply click run. And after about five minutes, this is our result as we can see here. Super good. Well, that's all for this video. If you liked it, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, activate the bell so you get notifications of the new videos I'll be making. And if you made it to this point, I recommend you watch this other video where I explain how to make logos using artificial intelligence. Click here. See you next time. Bye-bye.